Hello, financial enthusiasts and savvy investors of Singapore. Welcome back to another enlightening episode of the Investing Iguana. I'm your host, Iggy, here to guide you through the ever-evolving world of finance and investing. Today, we're tackling a topic that's buzzing on everyone's lips, the role of social media, particularly TikTok, in our financial education. Why TikTok should not be your main source of finance advice, that's what we're delving into. You might have seen those catchy, quick finance tips on TikTok, but how reliable are they really? In this episode, we're going to uncover the truth behind these bite-sized financial tidbits and explore why they might not be the wisest source for your investment decisions. But don't worry, we're not just going to leave you hanging. I'm also going to share some alternative sources where you can get trustworthy and valuable financial advice tailored for the unique landscape of Singapore's economy. From understanding the limitations of social media platforms to discovering the power of AI tools like ChatGPT and the significance of professional financial advisors, we've got a lot to cover. So, whether you're a seasoned investor or just starting out on your financial journey, this episode is packed with insights that you won't want to miss. Stay tuned as we dive deep into the world of finance, debunk myths, and bring you closer to mastering the art of smart investing. Let's get started on this journey to financial enlightenment together. In today's era, where the digital landscape is rapidly evolving, an increasing number of young adults in Singapore are flocking to social media for financial wisdom and insights. This shift towards digital platforms for financial education is a pivotal trend, especially considering Singapore's status as one of the world's most internet-savvy societies. Did you know that Singapore has one of the highest internet penetration rates globally, with around 88% of the population actively using the internet? This widespread digital access has profound implications on how financial knowledge is disseminated and consumed. However, this trend also sparks a critical debate. Are these social media channels a boon or a bane for financial learning? The data presents a concerning picture. A significant decline has been observed in the proportion of Singaporean young adults in their 20s achieving their investment goals, plunging from 75% in 2019 to a mere 32% in 2023. This stark decrease raises alarms about the effectiveness and reliability of financial advice disseminated through social media. Singapore, known for its robust financial sector and high educational standards, offers a unique context for this issue. The city-state is not just a global financial hub, but also a place where financial literacy is highly valued. However, the ease of access to a plethora of unvetted information online could be leading young investors astray. For instance, the Monetary Authority of Singapore, MAS, has been actively working to enhance financial literacy among the public, yet the overwhelming tide of online information may be diluting these efforts. This situation poses an essential question. Where can young Singaporeans, eager to secure their financial future, find trustworthy and constructive financial advice? Traditional sources like financial advisors, books, and formal education courses are still relevant, but they must now compete with the instant appeal and accessibility of online platforms. Moreover, in a survey, it was found that nearly 60% of young adults in Singapore rely on online sources for investment advice, highlighting the need for credible online financial education. The challenge, therefore, lies in navigating this new digital financial landscape. Young investors must learn to differentiate between credible sources and misleading content. It's crucial for them to understand that while social media can provide a starting point, deeper financial understanding often requires more comprehensive research and consultation with professionals. Moreover, the government and financial institutions in Singapore might need to step up their game in providing more accessible and engaging financial education to cater to this digitally inclined audience. Perhaps introducing interactive online platforms or mobile applications that provide reliable financial guidance and tools could bridge the gap between digital convenience and accurate financial advice. 2. ChatGPT In the realm of artificial intelligence, ChatGPT stands out as a remarkable tool, especially in the arena of information and learning. 
This AI-driven platform, which functions by generating responses based on a vast repository of historical data, has been a game-changer in many fields, including financial education. The intrigue of ChatGPT lies in its ability to process and provide information on a wide range of topics, making it a versatile tool for general inquiries. However, when it comes to financial advice, especially in the context of Singapore, there are certain limitations to consider. ChatGPT's effectiveness is directly tied to the quality and comprehensiveness of the data it has been trained on. Given that financial regulations, market conditions, and investment opportunities can vary greatly across different regions, the platform's ability to provide localized advice for Singapore-specific financial matters may be limited. For instance, Singapore has unique financial schemes and products, like the Central Provident Fund, CPF, or the Singapore Savings Bonds, SSB, which may not be extensively covered in ChatGPT's training data. This is especially relevant considering Singapore's unique financial landscape, where the CPF plays a critical role in the retirement, healthcare, and housing needs of its citizens. Additionally, Singapore's financial regulations are governed by specific laws and guidelines set by the Monetary Authority of Singapore, MAS, which might not be fully encapsulated in a global dataset. However, this doesn't undermine the utility of ChatGPT as a learning tool. For general inquiries and foundational knowledge, ChatGPT can be incredibly useful. For example, it can provide explanations of basic financial concepts, historical financial trends, or definitions of various financial terms and products. Thus, while ChatGPT is a valuable tool for broad learning and information gathering, those seeking financial advice in Singapore should complement this with more personalized, specific guidance from financial experts familiar with local contexts and regulations. As AI technology continues to evolve, its role in personalized financial advice might expand, but for now, it serves best as a supplementary tool rather than a standalone financial advisor. 3. Digital Financial Tools In today's digital age, technology is radically transforming the landscape of personal finance management. Singapore, being one of the most technologically advanced countries in the world, is at the forefront of this revolution. The use of digital financial tools in Singapore is not just a trend, but a fundamental shift in how individuals manage and interact with their finances. Take, for instance, the POSB and DBS Digibank apps. These aren't just typical banking apps. They represent a leap forward in personalized financial management. By leveraging data analytics and AI, these apps provide users with customized insights and recommendations based on their individual financial data. This can include everything from spending habits to investment choices, making it easier for users to understand their financial health and make informed decisions. What's particularly interesting is how these tools are integrating with larger financial ecosystems. The Singapore Financial Data Exchange, SG Findex, for instance, is a groundbreaking initiative. It allows users to consolidate their financial information across various institutions and government agencies, including the Central Provident Fund, CPF, Inland Revenue Authority of Singapore, IRAs, and other banks and insurers. By linking their accounts via SingPass, Singapore's national digital identity platform, users can get a holistic view of their financial standing. This is particularly significant in a country where comprehensive financial planning is crucial due to the high cost of living and the importance of retirement planning. The integration with SG Findex is a game changer. It means that individuals no longer have to manually track their finances across different platforms or institutions. Instead, they get an aggregated, up-to-date view of their financial status, from CPF balances and HDB loan information to insurance policies and investment portfolios. This level of integration and accessibility is relatively new in the world of personal finance and is a testament to Singapore's commitment to leveraging technology for better financial literacy and planning. Moreover, these digital tools are not just for the tech-savvy. They are designed to be user-friendly, making financial management more accessible to a broader segment of the population. Whether it's planning for retirement, saving for a home, or investing in the stock market, these tools can provide valuable insights and guidance. 
In conclusion, digital financial tools like the POSB and DBS Digibank apps, integrated with platforms like SG Findex, are revolutionizing personal finance in Singapore. They offer a level of personalization and convenience previously unseen, empowering individuals to take charge of their financial health with greater clarity and confidence. As these technologies continue to evolve, they will undoubtedly play an increasingly critical role in financial planning and management. 4. Financial Advisors In the rapidly evolving world of personal finance, where digital tools and online resources abound, the role of financial advisors remains fundamentally important, especially in a financially sophisticated society like Singapore. Despite the rise of technology in financial planning, many individuals still value the personalized guidance and expertise that only a human advisor can provide. This is particularly true for those who may not have a strong background in financial management or are navigating complex financial decisions. Financial advisors bring to the table a depth of knowledge and experience that is difficult to replicate through digital means. They can offer customized advice that aligns with an individual's unique financial situation, goals, and risk tolerance. In Singapore, where the financial landscape includes a range of investment opportunities, tax considerations, and unique products like the Central Provident Fund, CPF, the role of a skilled financial advisor becomes even more critical. When selecting a financial advisor in Singapore, several factors should be considered to ensure the best fit for your financial needs. Firstly, their credentials and professional qualifications are crucial. Singapore has stringent regulations for financial advisors, and verifying their credentials ensures you are receiving advice from a qualified professional. Additionally, look at the range of solutions they offer. A good advisor should provide a broad spectrum of options and not be limited to certain products or investments. Another important aspect to consider is their remuneration model. Financial advisors in Singapore may be compensated through various models, including commission-based, fee-based, or a combination of both. Understanding how your advisor is compensated can provide insights into potential biases or conflicts of interest and help you make an informed choice. Moreover, in Singapore's culturally diverse environment, finding an advisor who understands your specific cultural and personal preferences can be beneficial. This can lead to a more comfortable and effective advisory relationship, especially when dealing with sensitive topics like family wealth management or estate planning. Therefore, while digital tools and resources are reshaping the landscape of financial planning, the human element provided by financial advisors remains invaluable, especially in a complex financial hub like Singapore. A good financial advisor offers more than just investment advice. They provide a holistic approach to managing your finances, taking into account your individual goals, circumstances, and preferences. As you navigate your financial journey, the right advisor can be a crucial ally in helping you make informed decisions and achieve your financial objectives. 5. Basic Financial Planning Guide in an effort to promote financial literacy and wellness among its citizens, the Singapore government, in collaboration with various industry bodies, has taken a significant step by developing the Basic Financial Planning Guide. Scheduled to be launched in October 2023, this initiative is a testament to Singapore's proactive approach in equipping its population with the necessary tools and knowledge for sound financial management. This guide is designed to be a comprehensive resource covering the financial needs at different life stages, from young adults just starting their careers to retirees planning for their golden years. What makes this guide particularly relevant for Singaporeans is its inclusion of local context and specifics. For instance, it provides actionable advice that incorporates national schemes like the Central Provident Fund, CPF, MediShield Life, and CareShield Life, which are integral components of Singapore's social safety net. Furthermore, the guide offers recommendations for low-cost financial products, adhering to the principle of cost-effectiveness and value. This is especially crucial in a country known for its high savings rate and pragmatic financial habits. The guide also addresses common financial milestones such as buying a home, saving for children's education, and planning for retirement, offering practical rules of thumb for each scenario. 
However, it's important to recognize that the Basic Financial Planning Guide, while comprehensive, may not fully cater to the unique financial circumstances and preferences of every individual in Singapore. The city-state's population is diverse, not just in terms of ethnicity and culture, but also in terms of financial needs and goals. For example, a young professional working in the bustling central business district may have different financial priorities compared to a small business owner in a heartland area. This diversity necessitates a degree of personalization and financial planning that a general guide may not fully provide. In addition to the guide, Singapore's approach to financial education is multifaceted. The country has a robust ecosystem of financial education initiatives, such as the MoneySense National Financial Education Program, which provides resources and conducts workshops and seminars to enhance financial literacy among Singaporeans. Moreover, Singapore's high internet penetration rate and tech-savvy population make it an ideal environment for digital financial education platforms. These platforms complement traditional resources like the Basic Financial Planning Guide by providing interactive and personalized learning experiences. In short, the Basic Financial Planning Guide is a valuable starting point for Singaporeans looking to improve their financial wellness. It provides a structured approach to understanding and managing finances across different life stages, while also highlighting the importance of adapting the information to one's unique circumstances. 6. Self-Education In the dynamic world of finance, self-education stands out as a powerful tool for empowering individuals with the knowledge and skills to make informed financial decisions. In Singapore, a country known for its high educational standards and emphasis on lifelong learning, the importance of self-education in financial matters cannot be overstated. Engaging in workshops, seminars, and consuming reliable online content are some of the key ways through which Singaporeans can enhance their financial literacy. Institutions like MoneySense, Singapore's national financial education program, play a pivotal role in this regard. MoneySense offers a variety of resources, including workshops and online articles, that cover a broad range of topics from basic budgeting to more complex investment strategies. These resources are tailored to cater to the diverse needs of Singapore's population, ranging from students to retirees. Similarly, the Central Provident Fund, CPF, board offers valuable resources for understanding how to optimize CPF savings for retirement, housing, and healthcare needs. The CPF system is a unique aspect of Singapore's financial landscape, and understanding it can greatly impact one's financial planning and security. Furthermore, Singapore's robust library system and its access to a plethora of financial books and online resources provide another avenue for self-education. The National Library Board, NLB, offers access to a wealth of financial literature, both physical and digital, that can help individuals broaden their understanding of various financial concepts and practices. In addition to these formal resources, the rise of digital media has made financial education more accessible than ever. There are numerous blogs, YouTube channels, and podcasts based in Singapore that offer insights into personal finance, investments, and economic trends. However, it's crucial to approach online content with a discerning eye, as not all information may be accurate or applicable to every individual's situation. It's also interesting to note that Singaporeans are increasingly using technology to educate themselves financially. Mobile apps and online courses have become popular tools for learning about personal finance and investments, offering the convenience of learning at one's own pace and schedule. The impact of self-education on financial wellness is substantial. Research has shown that individuals who are more financially literate tend to make better financial decisions, such as saving more for retirement and managing debt more effectively. In a society like Singapore, where financial decisions can have significant long-term implications, being financially savvy is crucial. In conclusion, folks, as we've explored today, the digital age indeed floods us with countless options for financial learning. But as your trusty guide in the financial jungle, I, Iggy, want to emphasize the importance of discernment. Combining resources, whether they be digital platforms, personal networks, or professional advice, is crucial for navigating Singapore's vibrant economic terrain. 
Remember, not all that glitters on social media is gold, especially when it comes to financial advice. It's essential to sift through the noise and focus on reliable, accurate information that aligns with your personal financial goals. Use technology wisely, engage with credible professionals, and never stop educating yourself. And with that, I hope this episode has shed some light on where to turn for solid financial advice. If you found this insightful, do me a favor, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe to The Investing Iguana for more valuable financial insights. Together, let's stay informed, make smart investment choices, and thrive in Singapore's dynamic financial landscape. Until next time, keep investing smartly.